All right, Anthony, speaking of the FCC, I thought this story was pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. FCC rejects indecency complaints. Now, you know, a lot of, lot of people uh, just uh, are all over the FCC thinking they're just out of control, things like that, blah, blah, blah. Everyone wants you and I, by the way, to comment on the Michael Powell resignation. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to... We're not going to trash the guy. We he we were never we never had a problem with the FCC. Believe it or not, they uh, there were people that would complain about our show and send complaints into the FCC, and we the the companies that we have worked for never paid a fine due to any content that we had on our show. We never did. They've paid off the the last one. They paid off a bulk payment to get rid of a bunch of pending. Uh, broadcast possible right? problem. Possible problem. They just right. want to wipe the slate clean and then yeah. decide. All right, we'll pay this amount to just get rid of all these possible. Yeah. Complaints. So Infinity Broadcasting paid a big fine, but that was including our complaints. The and reality is, and Ant and I over the years have studied, uh, you know, the complaints that that uh, the FCC found object, ob- objectionable. We've sat uh-huh. down with lawyers and we know how to do this type of edgy show and mm-hmm. and skirt around the issues, or or we did, you know. Yeah. So and and. And we find other ways to do our radio show instead of spending hours upon hours complaining that we can't do a, a radio show anymore because the FCC is up our butts. It's just not, it's just not the case. I can't do a show. And the fact is, yeah, Michael Powell resigned from the FCC. They're going to get another schmuck in there that's going to do the same thing anyway. They'll get a so, guy in there that's probably worse. Probably worse. Probably sure. worse. It's all the administration above it. If that if they're kind of coming down, mm-hmm. then he's going to come down. Right. I don't like Michael Powell. I think they all stink. But again, that just whoever's above them is is where the the dictated morality comes from. Yep. They're thinking about taking that woman that's in there and putting her in charge, which would really be bad. You put a woman in there? Yes. Oh, because their sensibilities are always on the side of humor. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of humor that is based in in uh, darkness, in sickness. In stuff that that a lot of people might not find funny, but but put in context, it's very funny. And there are a lot of women that just cannot handle that type of humor. And can I tell you the Parent Television Council? I can't tell you. Well, how they're badly, the, I hope a fire starts oh, in their office. Yeah, they're the organization that is causing problems for just about all of us. I hear the 99% is, I was of gonna say, all complaints. Yep, even more that than come 99%. In. It was 99 point something, something percent yeah. of, of all the complaints that. Had, that are uh, brought to the FCC's uh, attention is from this this group. From this group. Ugh. And they are... So basically, they're trying to tell us, meaning all of us, us in the room and you people listening to this radio show, they're trying to tell us what we should be able to hear on, on radio you know what these or people watch are? on TV. These groups like this, not even like this, this group. This what is group. it? The Parents Television? Parent Television Council. Council. You community. know what they are? They're a bunch of people that are so effed up in the head, so perverse... So sick in the head, with with images of child molestation in their head, wants of pedophilia, uh, wants of rape, and sick, disgusting masochism. That's what these people are. Yep. They can't deal with it. And, and, and they're so ill and sick in the head that they need it taken away from everything, or else they'll explode one day and kill and rape and molest children. They can't handle the slightest bit of sexuality being dangled in front of them because they lose their minds. They are all sick, sick people. And they're usually not good parents. No. You're, 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 they're over, like, they're the type of uh, parents, again, like the Ramseys were, the type of parents that just throw your kids out there to succeed where you failed. Right. They just want their voices to be heard. They just need to make a difference, and they're making the rest of us suffer because they are self-centered Pigs. And it's time for all these companies out there, Viacom, Clear Channel, Citadel, all the radio companies to start fighting back and stop being pussies. Ignore it's these time to, morons. It's time to fight back. Especially since you're not doing anything wrong. Because this is no. the organization that is uh, you know, forcing radio to get tamer, TV to get tamer. It's this one lousy group. So they don't speak for the majority of this country. Nope. Whatsoever. Small minority... That wants to control all of us. Right. And uh, the, uh, who's at fault here is the big radio companies for being pussies. For actually Con- entertaining these people's complaints. It's time to fight back. These are sick weirdos. Yep. Sick, sick weirdos. Yeah, they have their kids, and everything they do is under the guise of protecting children. 
but they're so caught up in these these activities that they have, complaining about these shows, trying to find every little innuendo on television and radio, that they neglect their children, and their children wind up growing up as screwed up as they are. In a weird way, I feel uh, I feel uh, almost sorry for the FCC today that they have to deal with this crap. You know what I mean? Yeah. There, there's a whole list. Uh, we're going to get into a few of these. A whole list of complaints that came in from the. From this uh, group, what is it again? The pa Parents uh, Television Council. Thank, thank you. So, yeah. so these were a bunch of complaints that they uh, filed with the FCC, and the FCC has spent a lot of time and right back and tell them, no, this isn't indecency. Calm down, relax, okay? Because yeah. a lot of people think the FCC is just jumping on every little complaint and uh, and making uh, people's life uh, a living hell. It's mm. just not. It's just not true. It, it isn't, okay? And they got examples, and it's just great reading. We got We should put this up on our website or something. It's yep. hilarious. Page after page of them complaining. Outline below is a, descri a description of the allegedly indecent material cited in PTC's complaints. They have about 36 of them that yeah. the FCC says, "Will you guys calm down? There's nothing wrong with this, uh, with with the, with the material here." It's become yeah. their whole existence, man. They they need it to exist, or they won't have anything that they can latch onto. They're empty people who have not made a difference, and they just need their voices to be heard. Well, you know, this is like the people that sit there all day and dial 911 yeah. and call uh, uh, the police to their, their house for no reason, and then uh, eventually they're arrested for, for doing this. That, that should be what happens to these people. Yep. You can't file complaint after complaint and abuse a, a, an organization or a commission like the, the FCC and not have some kind of consequence. I find it funny that uh, there are people in this organization that are outright, uh, outraged by some of these, some of these uh, clips from these TV shows. Because uh, they're sick, weird <laughs> people. I'm laughing my ass off. Like, let's let's just get right into it. The show Everwood, a character. Everwood, the name alone. Everwood. <laughs> right. That's come on. It's the guy that took 200 milligrams of Viagra down there in Boys Town. Everwood. <laughs> that's that's Neverwood. That never stupid would. limp idiot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I couldn't get an erection. I cried alone. <laughs> Mumbling fool. <laughs> Everwood. A character on that show remarks to another, "I got this black guy because of you, Dick." Yeah. They had a problem reason, with that. Dick. They had a problem with that and filed a complaint with the FCC because of that line in that TV show. The guy's name was Dick. Was it? No. <laughs> no but everyone says you, you dick. dick. It's, it's part of, you know, language yep. now. Uh, Fast Lane. I, I've never even heard of, of the show Fast Lane. No. One character uh, threatens another by stating, in my next life, I'm coming back as a pair of pliers and, and pull off your nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's fine. It was fine. The FCC said no problem there. Girls Club. A young female attorney says to an older male attorney, those power dicks are going to start giving me trials. The attorney responds, is that what you call us? Power dicks? Power dicks. Wow, it's bad stuff. They're using the word dick a lot. They hate TV, the word dick. Dick, they do. dick. dick, 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 dick. Because it reminds them of when they when they close their eyes, what they think of inserting into their own children or into their own nephews and nieces. Exactly. You can't be this crazed yep. about the slightest bit of sexual content without having some sick, twisted, devious thoughts going through your head. It's the, it's just the way it is. This Parents Television Council is full of perverted weirdos that want to have sex with children. Yes. And they want to uh, have, have the most bizarre type of, of vile sex with uh, maybe people of their own sex, uh, women. Rape is usually huge fantasies in these people's heads. They're sick, sick people. Who cannot take it? Where do you get your research from? Me? <laughs> yeah. I just know this. All it's right. it's a lot like the church. Yep. A lot like the church. There's people who are supposed to be good. They're they're doing this. Uh, they're they're. It's supposed to be for the greater good of people. They're sacrificing many things to uh, give their life to God and to uh, a people in in the religion. And meanwhile, you saw what was happening: homosexuality, pedophilia, running rampant things they're not supposed to be doing. Uh, I, I don't think you're getting into that line of work because you want to make these sacrifices. You're getting into that line of work because you can't face what the reality of your life is. So you figure, I guess a few people figure that if they give their life over to God, they won't have to live this sexually deviant lifestyle. Some think it's uh, picking grounds for what they enjoy. You know, there's different reasons you get involved in this, but the, the bottom line is you're just not right in the head. 
It's also about they want to they want to force the rest of society to do something so they can repress their own demons, their yep. own their own sick thoughts and feelings. And it's like you know, look, it's not my fault. You, you look at children and you think those odd things. Yeah. I I don't look at children. I hate kids. I would I couldn't get a rod around a kid because this stupid child crying would annoy me. <laughs> That's why I don't think about them. I'm not concerned with them. Right. Well, more examples. We got to get right back into this. Uh, Girls Club, again, this TV show, I guess. A female character remarks, I'm not feeling too sexual these days, especially here. I'm having a little trouble with one of the power dicks. Uh, they're overusing that line, I think, on Girls Club. Yeah, maybe that's why the show stinks. Got to get better writing. Dawson's Creek, Anthony. They had a problem with Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek. One character remarks to another, Listen, I know that you're pissed at your dad for flaking on you. It doesn't mean he's a bad dad, and it doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Another character responds, no, it just means he's a dick. Oh, sorry, I was dozing off at Dawson's Creek. Uh, dialogue? Some of their dialogue. Well, I guess the word dick is uh, prevalent throughout all these complaints. That's upsetting the uh, PTC. Dawson's Creek again, character tells another, you're being a dick. Now, Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me, that has been... That's on their list. Of course and it is. And they sent an FCC complaint in, and the FCC said, no, sorry. And it was a musical number during which the title character's naked torso and genital area are blocked by objects, furniture, and in one instance, by his hands. Remember that, Austin Powers? Great scene. Gets at the beginning. Great scene. Very funny. He's uh, moving things around, and it's hiding his, uh, his junk. Very funny scene. Do you find that titillating? Do you think people out there found that titillating or just really uh, funny? No, only sick, weird people would find yep. that titillating and, and have this need that it be taken off because it's getting them excited and God knows what sick thing they might do when they get excited. And why in the hell should other people enjoy this yep. uh, because they are able to watch this and enjoy it without uh, committing some sick crime when, uh, quite frankly, these people cannot. So they want it just eliminated. Take it away. Take away all my temptations. I'm too sick to deal with it. That's what they're saying. Later scenes include the use of the phrase fat bastard. Not allowed to say fat bastard? And the word... And the word testicles. Oh, my God. That really is upsetting, though. Uh, and then, of course, uh, uh, a male and female character are in bed together with no sexual or excretory organs or activities depicted or discussed. And they complain about that. NYPD Blue, that dickhead in a wheelchair... Was said what? Who complained, who complained about that, Dana Reeves? <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, that's bad. Friends, female character says that she has to go because she's got an invasive vaginal exam to get to. What? I don't get it. Why are why isn't this group being fined? For sending in, for tying up a federal. Have you noticed there's a committee? couple examples here where uh, there's a male and a female just in bed doing nothing? Yep. But there's a scene maybe of them in bed talking, doing some dialogue, and they had a problem with that, and then of course. and threw a complaint uh, at the FCC. Didn't didn't Man Cow sue actually the guy who was like harassing his show in uh in D.C. I mean in uh, yeah, Chicago? Yeah, pussy backed out of it after a while. Who did? Man Cow. But didn't but didn't the guy stop making complaints because it was harassment? I'm saying. Uh, I don't think so. I think I think they made some kind of a deal, but he's still complaining. It's like, is that what a, do you want to take that guy and just bite his face and smack his children? It's these people's power base. It's their popularity. Yep. It's their 15 minutes of fame. Yep. And that's all it is. God, that bothers me. WWE did it too. WWE did what? They sued. They sued what? They uh they went after the parents' television council for harassing their sponsors and uh, interfering with their TV shows and stuff. We're trying to find the article now, but uh, they took him to court. Good. Uh, line in Scrubs. Yeah, let's go there. Good. The character antagonizes the brother by telling the fiancé he wanted to love her up and down and all around, and that they should go put some more of your footprints on the ceiling. How is that anything to complain to? How would that even raise a red flag unless you're so deranged? You're so sick. Oof. Uh, in another scene, a male doctor tells a female resident that he would rather listen to her go on and on about the joys of dolphin sex. Whoa. That's tough. 
These people really have got to get a life. The Dolphin <laughs> Television Council complained about that one, I hear. If this is uh, like a <laughs> offending them, they really <laughs> need to get a life. Dolphin Television. <laughs> <laughs> but they can never turn it on because electricity gets wet in the water. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> hey, I'm, I lost a fin to diabetes. <laughs> 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 I'm a dolphin. We really ought to send him over to that parent television channel just to vomit all over their tables <laughs> into their shag rugs. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, there he is. <laughs> just, a, just a couple more examples. Anthony, the, the One Tree Hill show here. In a school hallway, a male character tells a female character, I've got something for you. And she, re she replies, I know you do, gorgeous. He then gives her a book telling her she might want to check it out. And she replies, oh, I definitely want to check it out. I, su I, su I suppose I could read the book, too. Wow. They are really getting, uh, yep. getting slim here with anything that could be complained about. But There's that shows you where there. they are. That shows yep. you the mentality. They're, they're dishonest. They're not honest people. They're liars. Yep. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Will and Grace. They had a problem with Will and Grace. Yeah. A male character studying to become a nurse remarks to a male friend that he's taken his own blood pressure many times, to which the friend replies, yeah, and how many times on your arm? Oh. Uh-oh. Thinking that he's going to grab his junk and take his blood pressure on that? There's a leap. Gosh. Boy, every little thing. Oh, he was talking about penis. Oh, my God. I can't think. I'm thinking about penis. Oh, i got to go to the kid next door and grab his. Yep. Sickos. You sick, disturbed jackasses. Scrubs again. A male character and a female character is depicted in bed. They, don't have, they have a huge problem with this. Uh, and they're under the covers. The male character asks the female character if it's a good time to start talking about a nickname for his penis. Mm-hmm. They had a problem with that, Anthony. Yeah. If you're in the measure of the parent television council, you can nickname your penis Dirty. Dirty. Bad. Filthy thing. Evil. Ugh. The FCC also has uh, denied bringing any fines against Saving Private Ryan. Remember? It was oh, yeah, aired yeah, yeah. in November. Who complained? Uh, them. Them. Same people. Same people. Uh. Parents television council. Saving Private Ryan goes on. They play it uncut. There's a lot of use of the F word and stuff because it's a war movie uh, trying to be accurate. And, and dirty language was thrown around back then, I think. And the FCC said, uh, no, complained against 159 ABC affiliates. And uh, they denied it. Good. Good for you. Scumbags. Good for you. How many people are a member of this group? A few hundred thousand? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty big group. It really is. It can't is. be that big. But your soccer moms, who, they don't have this problem. They're not getting boned properly at home. Right. Their husbands are repressed by sexuals, or, or, or again, if, with fantasies of pedophilia. They're not getting what they need. Yep. So they close their legs, put on their slacks, and need to get out this aggression some other way. That's it. Sorry you're married a dud, sweetheart. Sorry about that. Yep. Oops. Or the husband is so whipped that he's got to listen to what his wife says, and his wife is just just yeah. nagging that we got to do something to protect the children. And the husband, instead of backhanding her, says, okay, put me on the list. Well, these are women, obviously, that didn't work, that decided to raise children. And instead of just being satisfied that you're raising children, they realize that they see all these other women working and having careers and that their lives are a little empty. They yeah. don't have a whole lot going on because their whole life has been to lay on her back and pump out kids. Sorry, that, maybe that was enough in 1950. It's not enough for you now. Yeah. Don't take it out on the rest of the country because you made that decision. Just grab a lucky. Grab a lucky. <laughs> oh, Parents Television Council. Oh, that's why I hate kids. There it is. Where are they? Uh, ParentsTV.org. ParentsTV.org. And that's where you can find them. TV. Transvestite? Yeah. Ooh. Dirty. Dirty. That's filthy. Dirty. ParentsTV.org. I'm sure they have um, all kinds of places you could send letters. Maybe, uh, maybe our audience can... Maybe go to this website and, and uh, voice their concerns about how these people are sending in uh, FCC complaints. Please and, and be intelligent because, I mean, this is a serious topic and it and really is time to just fight back. Opie, I'm sure plenty of our listeners will be intelligent and I'm sure there's a few that will slip through the cracks that won't be intelligent. Silly geese, but you mean. that's a representation of, of America itself and I believe that's an accurate representation and, and uh, I think they'll get both. All right. Go ahead, Rick. All right. Anyways, what what I learned today yeah. was that the PTC 
doesn't like the word dick because that's what they enjoy putting in their kids. Yep. Oh, there you go. Good very, boy. Very good. Thank you. Work I there. just want to see what they were upset about, the Parents Television right. Council. We were talking about him yesterday. 99.8% of all complaints that go into the FCC come from the Parents oh. Television Council. They monitor everything, radio, television, for things that they find offensive and then have their flock write letters to the FCC whether they heard these things or saw them on TV or not. They instruct their people how to fill out these FCC complaints and send them in. So it's not really using the FCC like it's supposed to be. If, if you're offended by something you hear, you believe it's indecent and against the rules that the FCC has set forth, you can complain. The, the way they have it set up, it's like a, a chain letter or a yep. mailing list. It has nothing to do with the way the FCC was uh, supposed to be set up. And on their website, uh, we found like five clips that they posted video of uh, from television. Shows that they deem offensive scenes in these shows that are offensive. That you could then watch the video and then mail in a complaint as if you were watching the program. Completely different than it was supposed to work. Sure. So we just have a couple of these shows. What is this one? Uh, a sex scene from Life as We Know It. Uh, teen Orgy from Without a Trace. They got the uh, Motley Crew on The Tonight Show, I guess, when he dropped the F-bomb. So. Do we have that? It's all right yeah, we got they it actually, all. Did they bleep it for their website, or is Probably. it uh, going well, out live? Knows. How could they bleep it? You wouldn't know what they said. That's true. It's really time to add the F word to the English language. Let's all calm down we about all the F word. It. Every single person uses it. That's how bad we're getting into society. It now makes the Drudge Report and news whenever a celebrity slips on television. That is what we've turned into. Yeah. Bono said the F word. Oh, Motley no. Crue said the F word. We are obsessed mm -hmm. with language. I mean, look, I'm fairly conservative with crime and punishment, but this administration is disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting. Letting the F-bomb slip or, or be broadcast on television isn't against FCC regulations, by the way. It's been done. Saving Private Ryan. They played it, and the FCC said, no, that's fine. It has nothing to do. What they don't like is the pandering and it being used to titillate or excite. That's the stuff that upsets them. If someone gets on and lets the F-bomb slip by accident talking about uh, winning an award and saying this is effing great you know, and, and not using it in a right. sexual way, has nothing to do with that FCC violation. But now people just freak out and say, well, you got to find them. So... Um, what do you want to start with? We'll go from the top. I don't even know this show, Life As We Know It. Anyone I never know? heard of that. You ever heard of that? No. Life As We Know It, so the sex scene? They're, I don't know how this is good. They're, they're very good offended turn. by this scene from Life As We Know It. <laughs> oh, this sucks. We Don't we need the video? We kind of? kind of would like to see that. Did if, anyone listen to these clips to make sure they work for radio? I'm ready to I'm ready to send a letter in. That yeah, sounds no very doubt. offensive. That sounds very hot. I hear the moaning, groaning and breathing heavily. We hear the sex noises. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a girl in there? It's okay. You can stop but I might. Oh, I don't want to stop. Let's stop. Why isn't it working? Stop thinking about Jackie. Stop thinking about Jackie. Yeah! Yeah, stop thinking about Jackie! <laughs> it smells like old chemicals in here. Maybe that's it. Bleach? Yeah, that's it. This is the, what they're upset about? What, the guy can't get a rod? Why don't we go back to the dance, have some fun, and try it again later? Oh, you think yeah, that's cool. Ah, oh, what a loser. How What's the problem? Every single male on the parents' television council suffers from that problem. <laughs> How embarrassing. The guy couldn't get a rod. Oh. What were they, in a cleaning closet or something? They had a little school dance, and they uh, slipped away to have a little nookie. Teen sex. The poor guy uh, couldn't get it up. Regga TV teen sex. What the hell? Could, you know, it's nothing to complain about. I'm sure they weren't showing anything that, uh, no bare asses or anything. It was probably just the audio that upset these people. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there was heavy petting, Anthony. Heavy, Heavy petting? <laughs> ever read that in the, the old yeah. Ann Landers? We've, uh, I'm just starting to go out with somebody. We've 
kissed and done some heavy petting. <laughs> heavy petting? <laughs> Is that meant literally like you're petting the person? I think it means groping. I think yeah. it means cupping. And Where do they get that word, though? Petting. Because it's the way you're touching. It's a way of saying it in the paper. You don't want to say I've been, you know, cupping and dipping fingers in. So you well, the term comes fingers. from when the girls used to grow those big beavers. Oh, and you would <laughs> pet it? <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, sometimes we do some heavy petting. <laughs> and then I'd have to put on a pad. <laughs> oh, back to Chicago, you unsexy wench with a belt. I'd put on belts and pads. <laughs> pads. You know, but we're sexually active. All right. Well, once you get the next one up, Eric, that'll work. We'll we'll watch the video to hopefully describe just in case uh, the next one is meant for TV and not radio. We will watch it for you. All right. The next one is without a trace. Teen orgy scene. Teen orgy without a trace. Okay. All right. This one they complained about. Seventy five hundred broadcast indecency complaints. Seventy five hundred. All of them from the same place. Right. You jackasses. All right. Um, uh, well, we'll just play it. Here it is. Right. The party was at his house. They usually are. We hang out after school. Is that a girl topless or is that a guy with man it's boobs? a guy with man boobs. They try to fool us. It's a steamy scene in a room with a bunch of couples having sex, but there's nothing... It's a team party. A black guy kissing a white girl. Now I am offended. Yep. Yes. Filmed very suggestively, Anthony. Very smoky. Girls are walking around in bras. Yep. Wow. A little dry humping going on. Let me tell you. Lots this of drinking. This is a hot scene. This really is very Holy hot. Jesus. Now the girls are in their bras and they're uh, taking a look inside. Uh-oh. Now it gets serious. Uh, what did you do? What so did you do? Here. How come one of he the hottest scenes is on the parents' and television wasn't council website? And he was particularly happy with what was going on with Jennifer. <laughs> Back, Back to, to the, the party. party. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah baby. Oh, yeah. Wow. Drink that, Jack Daniels. Bras and panties. Bras and panties. The guy's kissing a girl's breast uh, right above her bra, sticking his head between her cleavage. Wow. Oh, that's nice. That's a really hot scene. I'm going to have to watch that show. Thank you. Thank Let me you tell for you something. turning me on to that program. I have never seen on television a scene like that. We had to watch it on the PTC website. Right. Thank you, Parents Television Council. That's the, the most smut I've ever seen on regular television. Yeah, to all you teenagers out there, if you want to see some hot, sexy, steamy... Uh, orgy scenes, go to this website. Hey, Steve, if that's not too dirty for Foundry Music, put it on. <laughs> yeah. But that, that's one you can almost understand why they would complain about being on TV. It's like, eh, you know, sometimes you got to look at it and go, all right, you know, they want for broadcast TV, that might be too rough, too yeah. easy. Yeah. I mean, every complaint isn't going to be completely ridiculous, and that might be one that's too visual. It's the language I have the main problem with. Yeah. That was just uh, very, very, uh, very, very hot. hot scene. <laughs> yeah. It really so was. Watch that again. Yeah, go. What's the website? You know, uh, PTC. Parents TV. Parents TV. org. All right, and it's the clip without a trace we just yeah. uh, watched. All right, yeah, Anthony, nice. here's the next example. It's really basic and easy, self explanatory. Hey, Tommy! Happy fucking New Year, man! That's it. All right. <laughs> Happy fucking New Year. Motley hey. Crue on The Tonight Show. Nice. Well, the Parents Television Council said the main problem with that is it was taped in July. <laughs> Goddamn drug abusers! <laughs> they don't, don't even, even know. Yeah, they don't even what know what holiday it is. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. There's a commercial. They. Had I a think the with? most offensive thing was that the ball was dropping from Tommy's pole. It was, <laughs> it's just so big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's hepatitis all over the ball. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's a dentine commercial, Anthony. They had. I've uh, seen this one. And what's the problem with this? It's dentine really commercial? weird. It's like. It's a, a, a son or daughter, I'm not sure which, sitting on the couch with their boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever it is, on one couch. The parents of one of them are sitting on another couch. They pull out the dentine, and the, the kids start making out on the couch in front of the parents. And the parents, I guess, get a little influenced by the dentine or by what they're doing and start making out on the couch. So it's, it's like a, a kid and their date... And the parents going at it okay. on two couches in the same room. Ooh. It's a little odd. When I saw this, I was like, 
Ooh, that's kind of a creepy commercial. All right, let's hit play here. Boom. Mom, Dad, this is Kevin. Kevin, it's great Hi, to meet you. Hi, Kevin. Since so just talked about you all the time. She does, doesn't she? <laughs> Thank you for having me over for dinner. I hope you're really hungry because... Uh... Mm. Oh, Susie tells me you're on the wrestling team. I... Venting fire. Go bold. They're just going at it. <laughs> Holy ass, that's pretty that's pretty hot too. He, she throws her shirt and it hits her father in the face. Uh, and, venting and fire. Well she just yeah, they start Now the g- mother takes has some gum and they start making out. Now the, the parents and the, the kids are making out like on couches that are right next to each other. You know what would be really hot if the father yelled out, Switch partners. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the good part is? Uh, when the father goes up to the the boy, the uh, boyfriend, and uh, rests his head on his shoulder, and uh, as the boyfriend finishes him off, he goes, he, he put the father puts his face in the boyfriend's neck, and his mustache tickles the boyfriend's neck, and as it doesn't spurt, as little things burble over the boyfriend's hand, the father goes, ooh. <laughs> And I and I would oh. I would tell her that she'd walk down and she'd see me and her dad there, and both of our pants would just be pulled down to mid thigh. We wouldn't be naked. Our pants would be pulled down above our knees on the couch. Two men. Jimmy would tell his girlfriend this these stories. He would like suggest these fantasies, uh, or or play them out uh, verbally to his girlfriend, who would then have these horrific yeah. images in her head. Like of me sexually uh, uh, interacting with her family members. One of my favorites was me and her grandmother. That I would pin her grandmother up against the counter and bump and grind her and reach around and squeeze her ass and just kind of hold her and grind her against the counter. <laughs> <laughs> what would she say? Would... There would be something in every image. I think in, in, in the father image, it was the, it was when he put his yeah. face in my neck and went, Ugh. She said that was the worst part, was the, his face disappearing into your neck. <laughs> and in the grandmother thing, I think it was the fact that as I was pressing her against the counter, I was reaching around and holding her ass. Right, right. There, there was something so graphic. That really is bad. And awful. And every, I, I forget what other ones. I had one with her brother, one with her mother. <laughs> you are horrible. Her grandfather. I had like every member of the family that was that a new one. That is really funny and really disturbing. I, I really bothered her. <laughs> that is hilarious. But that's anti commercial. That's not obscene. That's just funny. That's hilarious. It's funny and really hot, funny. too, because they start uh, chewing the gum, and then the, the teenage girl just jumps on the, her boyfriend. And, and unbuttons her shirt. She's unbuttons in her bra, her shirt throws the shirt, and it hits her father right in the... And the father's trying to talk like a father would to a, a boy that's coming and bringing her, the daughter out, and they're just going at it on the couch. It's kind of funny. And then, funny. and then the parents start going at it. But that's not obscene. That's just that's no. funny. you got to know where to pick your spots, as you would say. They want an FCC complaint. For what? For that. I don't know, but they want it. All right, and finally, it's uh, ah, South Park. One of our favorites, South Park. This is from the Paris Hilton whore off yeah. episode, and uh, they they were bitching. Um, what's their line? When you subscribe to basic cable, exactly what are you paying for? Take a look. It's cable. Yeah, they don't care. It's not broadcast. The FCC can't control cable, can they? No, they don't care though. Oh! Big orgy scene. What is Mrs. Lane doing? He used to sit in there. Give him time, Wendy. Give him time. Call Mr. Slack. Back off! None of you losers are enough for me! Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. My God. She's shoving a pineapple inside her. Oh. Ta da! And the pineapple Whoa. disappeared. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> this is part of the four off competition, Anthony. And now a Steve-looking character walked <laughs> up to uh, Paris Hilton. A cuddly bear type. That's Mr. Slave. Mr. Slave? Mr. Slave, yeah. And he's... Uh, <coughs> Jesus. What did he do? Taking his pants off. Okay. Oh my god, he just jumped on Paris Hilton and he's, he's putting her in his ass. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, Jesus. Oh, that is- <laughs> oh man. Now that's a hole. Wow, I guess Paris is in such hot capital. That is sick. But All right, so it's the whore off, and Paris Hilton makes a pineapple disappear, and then this, this uh, Steve type. This gay guy. He's not a Steve type. He's like a... a- 
village people guy. Yeah, he's uh, one of these leather gay guys. Uh, jumps on top of Paris Hilton's head and makes Paris Hilton disappear, disappear. in his ass. And he's it's screaming. Cable. <laughs> yes. The FCC does not control cable television. They're self policed Right. Exactly. It's a pay service. Yep. God, all this. You know, that's the agenda of the of the Paris television. That that's how you know how disingenuous mm -hmm. and self obsessed with their own ideology they are. Yep. They don't want this stuff out there. They don't care about the rules that are in place. Ugh. They don't care about the rules that are in place and enforcing them. They want it changed. They want this stuff eliminated. When you're paying for cable, this is what you're paying for. Well, tomorrow I'll play some clips from the Boston uh, thing, and you can see when you're sending your children to church, this is what you're sending them to. There you go. Some of the Paul, uh, what's his last name, Shanley? Oh, that, that, yeah, that's... we got some of that. So when you're sending your children off to serve God, that's what you're serving them to do. What a kind, gentle man he looks like sitting he... in that courtroom with his little hearing aid. Yeah. Sure. Well, I guess his hearing is from all, from kids yelling in his ear, stop, it hurts. I guess that blew out his, one of his eardrums years ago. <laughs> oh, wow, that's... Ouch. Good observation. There you go. So you can, uh, you know, play along at home. Go to parentstv.org. That's going to become one of my favorite websites. I'm going to have to go there from the time to time. Find the clip of the week. Clip what of the is... week they do? Oh, yeah, Worst, worst of, the... of the week clips gallery. I think worst of is a rip off of you guys, though. I don't like that. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, really. <laughs> and, that, and that goes back to the whole tsunami thing. Like, they feel this stuff is titillating, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. now people are going to be titillated by going to their website, checking out these clips, but it's okay because they think they're getting something done by doing it. I think people that go there should watch the clips, and then there's a place you can email the PTC uh, higher-ups and let them know if you enjoyed some of the clips yeah. and enjoy their website. Tell them what you think of the clips because they're posting the clips for you to watch. Right. I think you should all email the Parents Television Council and let them know your honest opinions about mm -hmm. those clips. There you go. All right. Now, serious emails only. Oh, of course, Jimmy. Well, it's time and uh, that we just fight back. It no really shenanigans. Is. I mean, we're just one stupid, tiny little radio show, but uh, I think these big, huge companies have got to start saying enough is enough with this group. To these small groups, this small group. If this group didn't file complaints, the FCC would be twiddling their thumbs. Right. Nothing to do.